Chapter 2 SSA and Civil 3D Workflow Introduction This chapter introduces the SSA and Civil 3D workflow and the steps required to prepare Civil 3D content use in SSA. In this chapter, you will learn about the network layout in SSA, F. Design criteria used in this manual, and migration requirements from Civil 3D to Storm and Sanitary Analysis. Run the Chapter 2 2204955201.exe file to restore all the files to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Click on Zip. This will restore all your original drawing project files. Next, we're going to talk about the overview of network layout and SSA. When laying out a drainage network, you have two strategies to choose from. The first, you can start in SSA with catchment areas and manually add nodes and links. This approach would be more appropriate when designing a schematic network that is not to scale. The second is to start in Civil 3D with a pipe network, then export the HydroFlow system or storm sewer system or STM file format and import the STM file to SSA. The example in this training uses the second strategy. The, work out, the workflow is outlined below. First, you define the default options and element properties to use in the analysis model. You import the pipes and structures in the STM file from Civil 3D. Edit the properties of the elements that make up the system, such as connecting the sub-basins to inlets and convert junctions to inlets where necessary using the Civil 3D migration settings. Then you define the analysis option, run the analysis, view the analysis results, adjust the designs, and then rerun the analysis again. The design criteria from the FDOT drainage manual. The TOC, or otherwise known as the time of concentration minimum, is 10 minutes. The FDOT drainage manual 3.5.1 time of concentration minimum allowable time of concentration is 10 minutes. Pipe slope and minimum velocity. FDOT drainage manual 3.6.1 pipe slopes. Use a physical slope that will produce a velocity of at least 2.5 feet per second and no greater than 15 FPS when the storm drain is flowing full. For pressure flow storm drain systems, the minimum physical slope is 0.1%. The pipe and size length. F. Dot drainage manual 3.10.1 pipe size and length. The minimum pipe size for trunk lines and laterals is 18 inches. The minimum pipe diameter for all proposed exfiltration trench pipes or French drains is 24 inches. The 18 inch minimum pipe size does not apply to connections from external private stormwater management facilities. The pipe size for these connections is the size required to convey the Chapter 16-86 FAC or other authoritative permittive discharge limitations. Using SSA to specify invert elevations. The SSA help file. Invert elevations of offset. The software allows you to work in either elevation or depth mode. Working in elevation mode causes all input data to be entered as elevation. Working in depth mode causes some input data to be entered as a depth offset from the element invert. Elevation is the default mode. Note that this is controlled by entry elevation type in the project's option dialog box on the general tab. Inflow and outflow pipe invert elevations. 
Backwater surcharging can occur where smaller diameter pipes connect to larger diameter pipes and when the pipes have the same invert elevation. This typically happens along a mainline sewer as the pipe size increases downstream and at connections of tributary and main line sewers. To reduce the potential for subcharging or surcharging and backwatering, the following two options are generally used. Crown or top of pipe elevation of the smaller upstream pipe is matched to the crown elevation of the larger downstream pipe. Crown elevation of the smaller upstream pipe is above the crown elevation of the larger downstream pipe by the amount of loss in the access hole. This practice is often referred to as hanging the pipe on the hydraulic grade line. Requirements for migrating civil 3D data to SSA. Subbasins, or aka catchments in civil 3D, structures and pipes are collectively referred to as elements in SSA. In this guide, we will use terminology used in SSA. As you can see, this terminology is sometimes different than that used in Civil 3D. Catchments, structures, and pipes in Civil 3D must be configured correctly in order for the successful transfer of data to SSA. This section covers what conditions must be met for each element type in order to transfer data. Hydroflow Storm Sewers files formats has a STM file extension. We will use this format to transfer data to and from SSA. Only the pipe network, such as manholes, structures, storm drains, inlets, and pipes, subbasin data that contributes runoff to junctions and storm drain inlets, and rational method intensity duration frequency, or IDF, data is transferred using the STM file format. Time series rainfall data detention ponds, and other specialty hydrology data is not transferred. The SSA help file provides greater detail on using the Hydroflow Storm Sewer file format to transfer data between Civil 3D and SSA. When creating the STM file, you will need the catchments of the TOC computed from the flow path, or the time of concentration. An alternative is to create parcels from polylines and export to LAN and XML. The downside to parcels is that they do not have any TOC info. Parcels have the benefit of automating labels and creation tables for catchment areas, which are not a strength of catchments. Calculating TOC and assigning an inlet structure are the benefits to creating catchment objects in this method, which will be used in the exercises in this document. Use the Hydroflow STM format for output of pipe network structures pipes, catchments, with calculated TOC for use in SSA. The catchments or flow path slopes must have a non-zero or non-negative value, and the catchments requirements have the time of concentration must be greater than zero. Catchments must have a structure assigned and set to inlets in the storm sewer management or migration defaults. The structures must have an outgoing pipe connected. And pipes without an upstream structure will be assigned a null structure in SSA. The term line is used in SSA to mean a pipe and an upstream structure. Exercise 2.1, set Civil 3D storm sewer migration defaults. Assigned structure is used in the design as either an inlet or manhole when imported to SSA. You can save some work in SSA by having the correct structure type predefined in the Part Matchup Settings dialog box. So first, start Civil 3D by double-clicking on the shortcut from your desktop. Once Civil 3D is open, on the top left hand corner, click on the down arrow on the File Application menu and choose Open. Next, go to your local C drive and go to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Find the Projects folder labeled 2209495521. Next, click on the Drainage folder. 
Then locate drawing DRPRRD05. Select that drawing and then click on the, op the Open button. Once that drawing is open, in the tool space, on the Settings tab, scroll down to Pipe Network and right-click and select Edit Feature Settings. Scroll down and expand Storm Sewer Migration Defaults. and find Part Matching Defaults. On the right of Part Matching Defaults, where it says Standard, click on the Ellipses box. This will bring up the Part Matchup Settings dialog box. Next, click on the Export tab. And then expand the Export Structures Collection. Scroll down to Civil 3D Parts Type Index Number 4205-020 Curb Inlet Type 2 with Round Bottom. Click the drop-down list in the Storm Sewer Part Type column and select Curb Inlet Horizontal Circular. You only need to assign the correct part type to the structures and pipe actually used. Scroll down to the Exporting Pipe Collection to verify the Civil 3D part type, Pipe, Culvert, SCD is set to Storm Sewer Part Type, Circular Pipe. Click Apply button, click OK to close the Part Matchup Settings dialog box. Click Apply and click OK to edit Feature Setting Pipe Network and then save the drawing. Exercise 2.2 Export Pipe Network to a Storm Sewer File or otherwise known as a .stm. Continue using the drprrd05.dwg file from exercise 2.1. From the output tab, on the ribbon in the export panel, select the export to storm sewer command to create an stm file. In the civil in the Civil 3D Projects Drainage folder, create a folder named SSA. Next, create the file Proposed Drainage SR61. Next, click Save. And then close out of Civil 3D.